For the longest time, only the rich and famous had their portraits painted. Our reporter Adam is visiting a place in Sligo where all that is about to change. Hey, hey, come on. My name is Adam and this is the model in Sligo. Let me tell you something amazing. There's a real life artist painting a real life person in here. Come on, let's go. This is really exciting seeing something like this. Mick, can I ask you a question? Yes, of course you can, Adam. I've seen loads of portraits outside. What makes a good portrait? It has to look like the person that is being painted. It needs to be a good painting as well. It's not enough to um, have a likeness. Uh, you need very interesting surfaces for whoever is looking at the painting to enjoy. And of course, your model has to be comfortable and be present because it's a collaboration. It's never just me, the artist, painting the subject. It's an exchange. So working from life is an exchange. I don't know how he concentrates with all these people looking over his shoulder. I think he might be a bit of a showman. What is inspiration and where do you get it? Inspiration only comes when you are in the middle of something. So if you are looking at a blank sheet of paper, what you do is you start, and it doesn't matter. Once you start, then if you're lucky, you'll get inspiration. Is it a hard job? Uh, no, it's the only job I want. So I don't feel it like a job. It's the final stages now, and everything's gone really quiet. Nobody wants to interrupt them or break his concentration. One minute past one. Oh, I think this is it. Well I'm going to leave it like that. That's it, it's done. What was it like sitting there for three hours and how do you feel about it now? It was very interesting and exciting and I really like how it turned out. When you think of portraits, you think of old rich guys with loads of money, but portraits aren't just for rich people.